guys, so today I'm going to do a packaging video. I'm basically going to show you guys how I package up my small prints and my medium-ish size prints. These things might change in the future, but for now this is how I do them. And uh, yeah, this is good for if you're somebody who is wanting to sell your own art or if you are somebody who's wanting to buy my art, then you kind of know how I package it up. I hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's get to the video. All right, so first I'm gonna start with the small prints. This is how I do my prints. I print them on the Canon Pixma Pro 100, I think is what it is. So the quality is pretty nice. What I'd like to do is I like to stamp the backs of all my prints. I have this custom made stamp. I just found somebody in my city who makes stamps and um, you can find people on Etsy who make them also, but you have to make your, your own like art and design and they'll just like print it on it. So that's what I did, and then I sign it underneath with the, I put the name of the print and then the size and the year. If it was an original, I would write um, what I used to, to draw it. So if it was an ink drawing, I'd put like ink original. And then, um, so yeah, I have my prints here. And then, for these, what I did was I just got like regular envelopes. What I'd like to do is get my hands on some flat mailers. But um, for now, since I use a thick enough backing, this will work fine, just like a regular envelope. But I do suggest that if you can, go on somewhere like Uline or um, you know any packaging, shipping supply store and get uh, flat mailers instead, or like photo mailers. So what I put the what I put the prints in is these crystal sleeves. These, the ones that I get are called clear bags. Um, you can go to clearbags.com and uh, they have them all there. Since I accidentally printed 5.5 um, by 8.5 instead of 5 by 7 prints, um, I had to get a bigger size up instead of using my 5 by 7 sleeves, and I also had to custom cut my mat boards. So what I do to get the map boards is, um, well I have a friend who works at the art store, she works in the framing area, and um, she always has like matte scraps, so she cuts them up for me or saves them for me. Same with like a lot of my packing supplies, like craft paper, she'll save it um, instead of throwing it out. Recycling is awesome, so I like that we can do that, and she's super helpful with all that stuff. So yeah, I ship with these and what I did um, to cut these is I have my cutting mat and it has like the measurements so I measured out a regular size matting. So this is like what they do is they, they use these for, for um, framing things, right? So it's the matting all around that got used so it left the middle part to be um, used by moi. So I wonder if maybe you could go to like a framing store and you could ask them like if they have any scraps that they just normally throw out or if you could buy any of their scraps because you can buy them for cheap from the place, from the store that I go to. Um, and I do that sometimes when once Sarah doesn't have any for me to use. So that's what I, I've been using for the backing and it can be a bit heavy depending on like how many of them you use but usually one or two is pretty good. So yeah, those are the four things that I'll be using, and then, yeah, let's get started. So I think for today, I'm just gonna package up one print to show you guys, and so somebody ordered a picture of him, so I'm gonna do that one, and so I'll put it in the sleeve, and I'll put the matting in the sleeve. I have to check to make sure my camera doesn't randomly turn off. You do that, and then seal it up. You take the strip off the back, and it is like a self-seal. There you go. And with some of the prints, you'll have like this little bit left over. So what I like to do is I will tape it. I just get like regular clear tape here. So there you go. It's all in the cello sleeve, fancy schmancy. 
So I'm done with these. Now what I like to do, because I don't know, I really like getting messages. Like even if it's like a thank you note, I really like seeing the person's writing. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense, but it adds like a nice touch. And a lot of like bigger artists will just send away the prints as is. But I think if you can add little things to it, it I don't know, it feels nice. I'll just write thank you and my name. And I have pink pen and I have cute little Rudy Virakuma post-it, so. And then what I like to do is I will put it in the envelope. I think matte board is pretty strong, so I think it will be okay just sending it like this. And I have a stack of business cards here, so um, I'm pretty sure these ones are actually out of date. I've changed, yeah, I changed my main website, but I don't have any new ones right now. And also it's like mini art, so why not send it? It's just like an extra thing. Like I, I like to um, put up business cards that I think are really cool. So yeah, so fold that up, seal it. I folded it over more instead of like right at the seam because you know, the smaller you can get it, the better because then the shipping will be cheaper and that way your clients don't have to pay as much. Okay, so now what I have is I printed out some labels that have my address on them. Before, what I was doing is I would use like my my stamp and I just stamped the top corner, but I'm using these now just because I like to change things up. There's so many ways that you could do it. Before, I had to spend so much time writing my uh, my details on everything, and it just took so long. When you have you know 20 plus orders to ship out, any extra writing is gonna hurt your wrist even more at the end of the day. So I like having these now and it adds some like color and brightness to the envelope, so eh, why not? And then you just write your address here and then what I like to do is I got some fragile stickers. Um, I'd like to find better fragile stickers than this. I think I might look on like Etsy or eBay or something to find some ones that like fit my decor, like my, my overall color scheme better because it kind of sticks out like crazy and also that font. Not crazy about that font. But uh, I like to be pretty obnoxious with my fragile stickers, like so you know you're gonna see that, right? Right? So yeah. And that's pretty much it for the small prints. Um, once again, flat mailers, get flat ma mailers. So I'm going to sign that one after. And now let's move on to the bigger prints. So now let's get to the bigger prints. So what I'm gonna do is I have my um, mat board here and it's too big to fit into the envelope as is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold my prints and they're in the so they're protected. And I'm going to just put a line there so I can cut it right there. I was using scissors to do this, but it kind of makes a mess, so I'm using an X-Acto knife now. So these are the two kind of X-Acto knives that I have. I would suggest using like the kind of industrial one instead because these are extremely thick. Oh, so here, line it up. So this is what I do. Sorry, I haven't had time to remove my nail polish and it's like bothering the hell out of me. So I hold it down really hard with a ruler and then cut it there and then bend it back. And sometimes it snaps off, but now it's being a pain. So I think what I'll have to do is just go over the back of it. <laughs> there we go. So I'm not sure what to use these bits for. I have a ton of them now and I'm not sure, yeah, what to do with them, like if I should make rulers out of them or make art um, on them. I don't like throwing things out like that, like, I guess I could recycle it, but still, if you guys have any ideas what I could do with those, let me know. Alright, so my friend Jess bought an original and also
also a medium sized print and a small print. So this will be a good chance to show you how I package up things that are kind of like a mixture, you know? So I like to finalize the original, make sure everything's cleaned up. So I'll take my eraser, kind of go over if I missed erasing any lines. I have the back signed and I have the back signed of the prints too. So what I'm going to do is I would like to package up my prints separately since they're both different sizes and I'm also going to package the original separately because I, I feel like I don't know. I feel like originals should each be in their own separate one because safety reasons, like to keep the print or to keep the art safe. We'll seal this one up and tape it up. Where did I put my tape? So put one there, one there. So that one's done. Seal it up. it up. Let me know if you guys sell prints and you have any like interesting ways of shipping them out or anything like that. I'd like to hear your ways. Okay. So I got my things and what I'd like to do at this point is I'd like to tape them all together so that they're not kind of flopping about inside of the envelope. So I will line it up and tape down the original onto my print here. And then put that on there and tape that one down. Boom, bada boom. I think, yeah, maybe I'll tape the other side also. I think that'll be sturdy enough to ship with just the one mat board, but we'll, we'll put it in the envelope and we'll see if it would actually be okay. Slip them into the envelope. I drew a little picture of a, a ham on it. I don't know if you can see that. My camera never focuses. And then plop in a business card. Fits and feel if it's sturdy enough. I think if it was going to Germany, I would add another backing board to it. I don't really like licking the seal. I would like to just use packaging tape. What do you guys think about licking the seal? Do you think it's gross? Do you think it tastes gross? Do you like the taste? I can't remember if it was Lopi or I can't remember if somebody else who said that they actually like licking the seal because it's like nostalgic because they would like lick all of their parents' envelopes while they were sending them out as a kid. Might have been Lopi. I like a serious problem with wasting things. Wasting things is bad. Making garbage is bad. I kind of want to make that a goal. I like to try and just limit the amount of like food garbage. We had our own house and we could grow our own veggies and stuff. I feel like it'd be easier, but when you have an apartment, I think it's a bit weirder. There's a few things that I'd really like to try and and make. Like I know you can regrow your chives and everything like that. So now I would just sign it. Fragile stickers on it. If you want to, you can put some extra stuffs into it. I am going to, because I know she is a fan of Ghibli stuff like me, I'm going to put a bunch of stamps of soot sprites on it. <laughs> because why not? Normally I wouldn't do this because I really like Kind of a clean basic packaging personally. Alrighty, so that's that and you basically just sign it and you're ready to go. Thanks guys for watching my video about packaging things. I hope it helped somebody. I'd like to link you guys over to Jelly Bee's channel because she is much more into like printing and she's been shipping stuff out longer than I have and she's got some kind of cool techniques that are a bit different than mine. So I'd like to link you over there. It's going to be in the description below and you can check out what she does. That's if you're like interested in packaging shit up. She does conventions and conventions are something I really like to start doing maybe this year if I can manage to like catch any. But I haven't done any before and I really, 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 really want to do one. But I need to like 
build up my prints and I need to have some more fan art stuff and get that all done up and uh, then I'll start doing that so she's more knowledgeable knowledgeable about that kind of thing but for now I just do like my usual like fine art prints and whatnot so yeah if you guys are interested in that go check out her page but yeah if you guys are interested in buying some of the prints that you've seen I'll put a link below also to my new shop Thanks guys, thank you for watching, bye!